Welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Doors template from AIM Trailers Explainer Video Toolkit version 2 for Adobe After Effects. Okay, so after we open the project, we find there are 20 compositions, each with completed door animations. So you ready? Let's check this one out. As you can see, there are two layers that you can use to correct and customize your composition. So for a start, let's select Door Control. And then we go to the Effect Controls panel to edit the settings. So there are two types of controls here. You can edit the door angle and then the door openness just by moving this slider. As you can see, it's really quite easy. Now let's animate this just by using a couple of keyframes. That looks good. Okay, now the second layer is the door holder. So this layer allows us to change the background behind the door. Let's simply import any background into this project. Of course, you can always import your own background or use the animated background scenes from AIM Trailers Toolkit. After that, you just open the layer with the door holder and transfer your background to it. Of course, sometimes you need to adjust the size to the composition Till it looks just about right. Now let's return to the previous composition and take a look at our result. Well, one more feature with the door template is the ability to use them with any character. So let's create a blank composition. Also, we need a character, so let's import one into our project. So simply highlight the file and click Import. Now just drag the character and the chosen door onto the timeline. Don't forget that the layer with the door should be on top. So to begin, open the compositions with the door. And then as I showed you earlier, we'll create an animation of the door opening. That's exactly what we needed. Now let's return and see how it looks on the overall composition. Next, we put the character behind the door. You may need to resize it a little bit and reposition it, move it a little bit so that it appears when the door opens. The only thing remaining now is to add a few keyframes to the position. That looks just about right. So this video guide for this section is over. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates on new products and offers.